you had three like major milestone moments in 2023. So cracking the top 100, as, as we've discussed, um, winning Mallorca, your first ATP tour title, um, and then obviously the Wimbledon quarterfinal. Like where where do those three moments like rank for you in terms of like if you had to rank them, where, where how would you kind of place those those moments? Oh man, it's so tough because they're so different. They're so yeah. different. So the 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 emotion that I felt after making top 100 was I've never felt that emotion on a tennis court, even to this day. Never, mm -hmm. never. And I think a lot of what went into it was what led up to that moment of kind of feeling frustrated, being so close, not quite getting it, drop into 120, thinking that uh, top 100, that's just going to have to wait. That's going to be a long ways away. Let me just try to win. My, my dad's last words to me before Miami, before I left, he goes, hey, hey, try to get out of the first round. I was like, oh, thanks, man. Appreciate appreciate that confidence. <laughs> like, he goes, those were his, his his good luck as I'm going to the airport was, hey, try to make it out the first round. So that's where my mind was just like, man, I'm just trying to get a win. And to think that how quickly things went from just trying to get out of first round qualities to that being the week that I made top 100, like the outpouring of emotion I felt after that Barrera match was unlike anything I've ever experienced in my entire life. Mallorca... You know, to to win a to be honest, I don't know if I ever thought I'd actually win an ATP title. Wow! So it was wow. it was I I didn't I mean I was I was winning a round and you know first round of a main of a two fifty and that was kind of mm -hmm. it. Like maybe I quartered Atlanta, um, in twenty seventeen. I watered Miami earlier that year, but like to actually put together five matches at a tour level, like I wasn't really sure I was gonna do that. Like just being completely honest. That is so um, that's so honest. That is incredible. Yeah, I was like, I, I I talk big, good game. I was like, yeah, I come here, I ain't coming here unless I think I'm ready to win. <laughs> man, I was going there like, man, I hope I can get past Alex Mickelson. At least what happened. After that. <laughs> <laughs> and like Mickelson was playing well too. We saw how well Mickelson played, and I, and I knew he was good. I was like, man, I just want to get way out of this kid and. Then obviously Ben to Lloyd Harris to Arthur Rinderknecht to Manorino, like. Things just every after it just kind of felt like a blur. Like mm -hmm. even even the sub the, the match point, like I served, I think Manorino missed the return. I saw it going out, and I was just kind of like, I hope that's out. I hope that's out. And when it landed, the only thing I could do was put my hands on my head and look at my coach. Like there wasn't, there wasn't <laughs> crying. There wasn't, I felt a bit emotional sitting on the bench afterwards, but I still didn't cry. It was just kind of like, wow, what is what is like what's going on right now? Mm -hmm. Like I, I just won an ATP title. Like that's that's crazy. Like, so and then to to the quarterfinal of Wimbledon, like, again, like it, it, it's, they're all so different. That one was just like, kind of, I think just riding the momentum of Mallorca, if I'm being honest, because Mallorca ended on the Saturday. I got there, I got to London. I think I flew into, what's the airport? Stansfi Stansfield? St Is Stans that Stansted. 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 So that we flew into Stansted and had like an hour and a half drive to get to the hotel, got in at like uh -huh. three or 4 a.m. Yeah. on Sunday had to do press and like, it was just, everything just kind of was like next thing. What's the next on the I, list? I, 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 not to cut you, Chris, I actually remember seeing you on the Sunday. Like we, we well, I, I was like, oh, hey Chris. And you're like, yeah, hey, but you were like in a rush. Cause I think you're going to the practice school. Yeah, it was just, everything was, it was like one after another, yeah. after another. It was like, oh, I got to go press stuff with like ESPN. I got to practice, obviously. I need to see the physios. Like it was just kind of like, oh, hey, like good to see you. Like I didn't know where Orangi <laughs> was. I didn't, I had to ask, I think Pam Shriver, I saw her. I was like, hey, where's the practice? Where's Orangi? And she was like, you really don't know where it is? I was like, no, I've never been here before. I was like, I don't know. She was like, just carry it on around. I think I was like walking past like 17 and I saw her and she was like, yeah, just keep going that way. She just kind of laughed. Um, but like, yeah, but because it was just so quick and everything had just kind of gone one after another after another, I didn't really, I don't think processed everything. It was just kind of like, what's the next thing on the list? Like I either got practice, media, physio, gym like whatever it is let's just move on so everything I, like i feel like my york and wimby kind of mushed together because there was no real separation for me mm -hmm. um so i think to some degree i didn't have the time to really process it all in the moment and get as emotional as i probably could have or should have but it was just on to the next so i mean in short i'm still going to say i mean it's tough to say a grand slam quarter i feel like one more quarterfinal has to be number one mm -hmm. Um, well, you're wearing the cap. Like, you, 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 have to, <laughs> you have to. I feel. I feel like I have to go in order of like the the. Here's what I'll say: Wimbledon is going to be one. Mallorca is going to be two, and uh, top 100 is three. But in terms of where I felt the most emotion, 
it's probably going to be reversed. I'm probably yeah, going to put top 100 okay. as one because I cried on the court and I never cried. And even in the presser afterwards, they were asking, people were asking questions and I like couldn't stop. Yeah. Like I'm sitting here, <laughs> sitting here, they're asking a question and they were like, oh, we can see the emotion. Yo, what does it mean to you? And I'm sitting there and I'm just like, yeah, and yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, what's going on right now? Like I could feel it cracking. I was like, my voice is literally cracking right now. Like, I can't stop it. Like, this is, this is, I've never felt this before. Mm. So in terms of the emotion, like the emotional toll that I would say it took on me, I would say the top 100 in Miami was probably number one. Mallorca was kind of unbelievable. I was just like, what, like, what is, uh, huh? I just want a title. <laughs> and then Wimbledon emotionally, I was just kind of riding a high. I was just out there playing. I was, some of them shots that were going in, if I'm being completely honest, probably had no business going in. But I was just like, ah, 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 and, you know, things are going well. So, yeah, I think in terms of, of, of the significance, obviously, Wimby, Mallorca, top 100. But in terms of the emotional impact, I would say top 100, Mallorca, Wimbledon. That's a great way to put it.